Hello everybody, it's Angel Sprinkles here, and today I'm going to teach you all how to make a collage jar that you can store pretty much anything in. So for this project, you are going to need a container, a clear jar, the old magazines or books that still have some color and pictures in them, the Mod Podge, and some scissors. So I have this jar that is super plain and I just keep all my pencils in it. So I'm just going to dip up my pencils and I'm going to use this jar for this project. You're going to set your jar aside and you're going to grab your books or magazines and start finding some pictures and cutting out the ones that you like. So I'm going to use this weird but true book and I'm just going to find some interesting pictures that I enjoy or some just funny quotes that I think would look funny and great on something. So once you find a picture that you like, you're just going to go ahead and cut it out. And I'm trying to cut mine a little bit smaller, like maybe if it's an animal, like this one is, just the head. So this way you will be able to fit more pictures or words onto your jar. Keep doing this with all of the pictures or quotes until you have found roughly around 15 to 20 pictures or quotes. to another book that has pretty much just fashion things because I like fashion. So I decided why not put a little bit of this onto a jar. ahead and cut out 33 pictures because I just, I wanted to make sure that I would be able to have enough to cover this jar and your Mod Podge brushes. So now you're just going to open your Mod Podge and pour a small amount into your container. Take your jar and put a thin, use your largest brush and put a thin coat of Mod Podge on the jar first. Grab some pictures that you want to put on first. I would recommend putting the biggest ones on first, unless you have a big one that you really want to stand out. So I'm going to start out with these kitty cats. They shouldn't be sticking completely yet because this is just a temporary. Now because I only put a thin layer, I am just going to take my Mod Podge and put it all over right away. And Mod Podge does dry clear, so it does not matter if your picture has gotten dull. So this is what my first picture looks like right now. And we are going to make this a collage. So, 
grab another picture and just put it wherever you'd like, close to the kitty, or whatever your picture is. pictures on it, go ahead and put one more coat of Mod Podge over it. If you guys want a really good technique as to how to get the most Mod Podge out of your brush, dab it because you get a ton of Mod Podge out and you do not have to brush it. And you're putting this extra coat of Mod Podge on so that you make sure that you've gotten all of the crevices of your jar or whatever you are using and so that every little piece of painting has a Mod Podge over it. So once you feel that you are through applying Mod Podge onto your jar, go ahead and set it to dry for about half an hour. So this is what the finished product looks like. I am personally very happy with it. There's my adorable little kitty cat, and there's the eyes, there's just a heart camera, you know, just a ton of different things that I personally just like, and I think it looks great. And now, the moment of truth. for yourself.